Well, let's learn the right way to make it from Christy Rost in her Breckenridge kitchen. Hi, I'm Christy Rost. Shepherd's pie began as a frugal dish prepared by Irish peasants with what they had. Carrots, onions, potatoes, and lamb. Today, it's one of Ireland's signature culinary traditions. On a chilly night, it's a tasty choice with make-ahead convenience. I preheated a large skillet and I'm adding two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I add one and a quarter cups each of sweet onion, carrots, and celery. And everything is finely chopped. And I'm going to saute this for several minutes until it gets soft. And once all the vegetables are softened, then I'll add in the garlic. You know, shepherd's pie is traditionally topped with mashed potatoes, which turn golden brown when they bake in the oven. So I already have potatoes cooking now. Now I'm going to add in my garlic and saute this for about another minute. And then I have one pound of lamb steak and I've cubed it to about half inch size pieces. Now if you prefer, you could use ground lamb for this, but I kind of like the look and the texture of using lamb steak and cutting it into these little cubes. If you don't have lamb available or it's not in your budget, then ground beef works great too. But then it's not called a shepherd's pie, it's called a cottage pie. So I'm gonna give this about five minutes to allow the lamb to cook through. Now I sprinkle the mixture with two tablespoons of flour. I'm going to stir this in real well and let it cook for about a minute. Then I add in one cup of lamb stock, or you can use beef broth, and stir this. It will start to thicken. Add in two tablespoons of tomato puree and some rosemary. One teaspoon of Worcestershire. I'm just gonna eyeball that. Stir until this mixture gets real creamy. And this will take a couple minutes. Season with kosher salt or sea salt, freshly ground pepper, and stir in one cup of frozen peas that are thawed. Then cook this for about another minute and transfer the mixture to a large casserole dish. I'm forming the crust of the shepherd's pie using mashed potatoes, which is the traditional Irish way. And I used four medium Yukon Gold potatoes and I made them with cream and lots of butter so it's extra rich. In the meantime, I have preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to bake the shepherd's pie for about 30 to 35 minutes until the top crust is golden brown and the filling is nice and bubbly. Shepherd's pie may have started as a humble dish, but your family and guests will feel pretty special when you serve this beautiful, savory lamb and veggie casserole. Take care, bake some joy. Thanks, Christy. That looks so good. And you can make Irish inspired shepherd's pie and find more recipes from Christy Rost on our website. That's coloradoandco.com. You can also get Christy's celebrating home cookbook on her website, christyrost.com.